I just got home from work and I want to make a quick dinner with you guys. It tastes good, it's good for you, and it'll be ready in no time. Today we're making veggie quesadillas. To start, I'm gonna take a medium zucchini and just shred it. So I grew up having this and my mom would make it for supper sometimes and so that's the recipe that I'm basing this off of but I am doing a couple things a little differently. I'm gonna put all of my zucchini into a mixing bowl and I'm going to squeeze some of the water out. Zucchini has a lot of liquid in it as most vegetables do and I don't want soggy quesadillas so Give your zucchini shreds a little bit of a squeeze. All right, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're trying to get supper on the table relatively quickly. Next to our squeezed out zucchini shreds, we're going to add one can of well-drained corn along with a can of well-drained black beans. You can rinse them if you want. I did not. All right, set that aside for just a moment. To that, we're going to add some cheese. I have some chihuahua cheese. I got the not shredded already stuff just because they put unnecessary things in your shredded cheese. So I just take the extra time and shred mine myself. You can use mozzarella cheese. You can use cheddar cheese. My mom always used mozzarella cheese, I'm pretty sure. You could use a mix of cheeses. I just felt like chihuahua cheese was I feel like it's the quesadilla cheese, but you can use whatever you'd like. Pepper jack might be a good cheese, and you get to eat this little last bit. So I think I'm going for about two cups of cheese. You can add as much cheese as you want. Cheese is the good stuff. It's the glue to your quesadillas. I'm gonna shred just a little bit more. A couple cups of shredded cheese right in with our beans and corn and zucchini. And I definitely need a bigger bowl. What else is new? All right, so, so give that all a mix. And if you're mixing and you notice that there's not enough cheese in it for you, just go ahead and add more cheese. This is optional, but I'm going to add half of a small yellow onion. Diced onion into the bowl. Give that a stir in. Now I meant to do this at the beginning, but as per usual, sometimes cooking doesn't go exactly as planned. I'm going to preheat my griddle over medium heat. You can use a frying pan, griddle, either is good. Now, how I grew up having these made was you added salsa to your quesadilla interior, but I always thought that created too much moisture within the quesadilla. So I'm just gonna put this inside my tortillas and serve them with salsa. So I'm going to bring out my quesadilla, not my quesadillas, my tortillas, and I like flour ones. That's just how I roll. And I have whole wheat ones here, and I like to do the worm with them, and it gets them pretty much all unstuck. You know how they can be like really glued together when they come out of the package sometimes, and then you end up tearing them? Do the worm with them, and it'll loosen them right up. There we go. Let's see, I don't know, I don't know how many quesadillas this is gonna make. What you can do is you can make them ahead of time and then reheat them either in a skillet or on a griddle or in a toaster oven if you have some foil underneath to catch any drippings. Otherwise, you can just make them as you eat them, make two or two for you or whomever you're cooking for and then keep this in the fridge for the next day or whenever you want to make more because this is a pretty good amount of quesadilla filling. 
But be forewarned, the zucchini is going to release more of its moisture. So if you do just use part of the filling, beware when you scoop some out the next time to give it a little bit of a squeeze to get out any extra moisture that may have come out. All right, so I have my skillet. It's quite warm. I can feel my my hand is quite warm when I hover it over. So I'm going to turn this down to medium low heat. And I have my spoon here. I have my tortillas over here. I have my quesadilla, my quesadilla, my quesadilla filling in the back corner here just for an easy assembly line from filling tortilla griddle. So I'm going to just scoop my filling onto half of my tortilla. Leave some room on the edges because it's gonna Stuff's going to come out. That's just how quesadillas go. And give it a little press down so that it stays closed. And do it again. If you can only manage one at a time on your pan, that is just fine. Quesadilla flipping is, is, an, is a skill. Especially when you have lots of little bits and pieces like our little everything. Little shreds of cheese and zucchini and little nuggets of corn and beans it's hard to flip these so you don't have to sh oh. you don't have to stuff your quesadilla full now you just want them get the cheese melted and this outside of your tortilla brown and crispy mine is ready to flip i that's why i like i Flip it over the closed end. Okay, I'll turn this one around. This one ready? That one's ready. I might have to turn my heat down. But just, just roll it on the closed end. It makes your life so much easier. Now, if you're going to be making a bunch of these and you want to keep them warm until you're ready to serve them, if you have a cookie sheet with a metal rack, set that up. Preheat your oven to 170 and place your cookie sheet with the metal rack in the oven and then when these are done, just set them on top of the rack and that will keep the airflow underneath so they don't get soggy, they'll stay crispy. And that'll buy you time to make the rest of everyone's dinner and then you can all sit down and eat together if that's what you like to do, which is what I like to do. So, once you're quesadillas. Oh man. No. Once your quesadillas are melty on the inside and nice and brown on both sides, we can plate those up. You can get yourself some salsa and or some sour cream to dip them in. see they're cheesy it's not like advertisement cheese pull amount but you got cheese in there I'm gonna take one bite without salsa it's gonna be hot Ooh, that onion is good you know what else you could do I didn't add any seasonings but you could add a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper maybe like an adobo seasoning if that tickles your fancy I did end up making some quesadillas with this homemade adobo seasoning. My mom gave this to me a while ago. Don't worry about it, it still tasted good. Um, but we have garlic powder, salt, oregano, onion powder, pepper, paprika, chili powder, and cumin. And I just sprinkled it generously on top of the filling before I put the lid back on while they were on the griddle. And wow, they are fire. Not spicy fire, but absolutely delicious fire. So with or without adobo seasoning, they're delicious, but I will ask my mom for this <laughs> recipe and I'll pop it down below for you guys if you want to make some homemade seasoning for yourself. But normally a lot of your flavor comes from the salsa. 
Nice, that gives it an awesome Southwesty flavor. Here I have a roasted tomato chipotle corn salsa. It wasn't my favorite, but it's good with these, with these quesadillas. Yum. This is a quality meal. You have your carbs, you have your vegetables, you have your protein and your beans and your cheese. Whole grain if you use whole wheat tortillas. I did like medium low heat, so medium low heat was good. And then you're gonna have supper on the table before anyone can be too hangry for too long. If you would make these quesadillas, give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who you think would also enjoy these. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in future recipes. And if you're interested in a homemade flour tortilla recipe, go ahead and click here and I'll see you guys there.